Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 003 underscore DIAB underscore N. You can also download this file on the website. Zoom in into this area and select the wall. When you do use it, temporal dimension line. You can use this dimension to control the walls. Now, if I click on the input on this dimension and change the value, for example, if I enter 6000 and click, Revit move the object 6000 to the value that I enter. Now, go to the quick access tool and select the align dimension command. Click this reference plane and click the external edge of this dimension. If you see the, the core center line highlighted, all you need to do is press the tab key and select the face of this one. Click to place this dimension. Click this reference plane and hover the mouse cursor into this one. Press the tab key and click this face. Place the dimension. Click the modify button to get out of the dimension panel. Now select this wall and click the value in the dimension and change this value to 1963.2 Press enter. Revit move the wall to that value. Select this wall and click this input. Change this input to 9589.9. Press enter to enter this value. Click the modify button to get out of the corner. Go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Click the modify button to end the command. Zoom out to see the walls. Now we want to draw reference plane in reference of this wall. Right click the reference plane and select grid similar. Draw a reference plane from this point to the right. Make sure that the reference plane is drawn horizontal. Click the modify button. Go to the measure panel on the modify tab and select the align dimension. Select the reference plane. Move the mouse cursor and select the edge of the wall. Again, the center of the wall is highlighted. Click the down arrow and select face of core and click the face of this wall. Click to place the dimension. Click the modify button to get out of the command. Select this reference plane and click on this value. Change this value to 8250. 8250 millimeter. Press enter. Press escape to get out of the command. Right click the reference plane command and select grid similar. In the draw panel select the pick line button. Zoom in into this area and pick the face of this wall. Click on the circle and drag this reference plane to this other reference plane. Click the modify button. Right click the wall again and select grid similar. Change the wall location to select core face exterior. Start the wall at this point. If the wall orient in the wrong direction, press the space bar to flip it in, in the right direction. Now move in into this area and make sure that the wall snap into the snap angle read 45 degree or 135 degree. The distance isn't important at this moment. Click. Move the mouse cursor again into this direction. Make sure that the value sees 45 degree click. Click the modify button. Now go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Click to get out of the command. Right click this reference plane, grid similar. Move the mouse cursor and start a reference plane to the end point of these walls and the reference plane. Now draw a reference plane 45 degree into this direction. Click to place the reference plane. Click the modify button. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the align dimension command. Click on this reference plane and click to the face of this wall. Click to place the dimension. 
click the modify button now select this wall and change this value to 3000 millimeter press enter zoom out to see the result use a window selection to select everything in the drawing click the filter button select check none and check the wall click apply click ok go to the location line and change to core center line move the mouse cursor into the drawing area now select this wall and flip it outside select this wall flip it outside select this wall this wall is drawn in the right orientation select this this also draw in the right orientation now right click the wall command and select grid similar draw a wall from this point to this point move to the right and extend the wall to the right press escape to get out of the wall command now select this wall you see a temporal dimension line if the temporal dimension line doesn't reference the edge of the wall go to the manage tab click additional setting and select temporal dimension make sure that the the wall area says face of core or face or face of core then the windows area says opening and click ok right click this wall grid similar draw another wall from this point to this point press escape twice select this wall and change this value to 3000 millimeter press enter select this wall click on this bubble to move the temporal dimension line to the nearby wall and change this value to 3000 millimeter press enter select this wall click this bubble to move the temporal dimension line to the face of this wall change this value to 4000 200 millimeter press enter click on this bubble and extend this wall to the this wall with the wall still selected select grid similar and draw a wall from this point to this point press escape twice to get out of the command select this wall change this value to 2850 press enter click this arrow to flip the wall into the other direction you can move this script to make sure that the wall is mentioned 2850 millimeter now with the wall still selected select grid similar and draw another wall from this point to this point click this arrow to flip it up and click the modify button now select this wall and click on the this temporal dimension line move it to this face and change the value to 1200 millimeter press enter select this wall zoom out click on this reference temporal reference of the temporal dimension to this face and change this value to 2550 millimeter press enter zoom into this area click out right click the wall and select grid similar draw a wall from this point to this point press escape draw another wall from this point to this point press escape twice to get out of the command select this wall and change this value to 3000 millimeter press enter now go to the status bar and select the dimension command dimension this wall this wall this to this wall click to place the dimension dimension from this point to this point click to place the dimension click the modify button go to the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save as projects Rename this project to 00 underscore 004 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. We're going to end this video. In the next tutorial, I'll continue to draw the wall for our project. 
if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye